Okay, first seven terms of a quadratic sequence. So we need to look at differences. So let's just write out the first few and then we can look at the differences. So we've got three, five, seven, and the next one is going to be nine. So that's the first difference. They're all different, so it's not linear, but we knew that. The second difference is a two. Now, because the second difference is a two, we know it's something to do with our square numbers, n squared. Remember, you half the second um, number to be the coefficient of n squared. So we've got one n squared. So let's write out our square numbers. We've got 1, 4, 9, 16. Okay, now 1 to 3, hmm, let's add 2. 4 to 6, add 2. 9 to 11, add 2. So actually, it is n squared add 2. Find the 50th term of this sequence. Well, now we've got our rule. It is 50 squared plus 2, or well, 50 squared, or well, 5 squared is 25, so it's 2,500 plus the 2, so 2,502.